Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. I'm in Long Beach today with a 1982 421C that we just listed. And uh, we're gonna, we haven't shown a 421 on the channel, so we're gonna take this opportunity to show you, give you a closer look at a 421C. Okay, so we're sitting in the cockpit of this 421C and we've got a few requests for showing the startup. And while I don't think this is overly complicated, a lot of, uh, if you're used to starting a modern car, it's just turn the key and everything electronically happens where, and the most airplane engines, diesel engines are a little more advanced, but in these um, gas piston engines, it's a little more complicated. You typically have to prime them, throw a few switches to get everything set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put power on the on the battery and I'll turn on the alternators. Those are individual switches. And I'm gonna turn on all four magnetos. And then uh, we got our engine gauges up here. So our mixture controls, which control fuel going into the engine, go to the full rich position all the way up. Props go all the way up for start. I bring the throttles all the way up, although you don't have to. And we have a primer switch between the starter switches, so I'm just gonna get a bump it and get a little fuel flow on the right. And bump it and get a little fuel flow on the left, which we got. Then I'll bring the throttles back down, open them up just a little bit, and then we'll start the right engine. Okay, so we're in the run-up area, and uh, we're just going to expand a little bit. Normally, we don't really get into the uh, run-up checks, and uh, so I'm going to do a, a quick little video on the run-up here. So one of the first things I check in airplanes is fuel. This, this fuel system in the C model 421s is pretty pretty straightforward. We have uh, we have uh, main tanks and cross feed, and uh, we pretty much leave them on the mains all the time so those those selectors are on the main tanks then I work my way up the trims are set normal autopilot is off yaw dampers off um, throttle quadrant set the way I want it all these light switches are on but I'm gonna turn them all off for day and that's set in the day position flaps are up for takeoff all of our heating controls are over there that's good all co-pilot instruments this is a nice array of co-pilot instruments too Traditional six pack with a nice HSI in the middle and uh, airspeed, all that stuff's over there. Avionics, I got set for now. Engine instruments are a combination of factory instruments and uh, an EDM 800 and a Hoskins, I believe that's a Hoskins fuel flow uh, meter. But that's the primary fuel flow for the airplane. We don't have uh, conventional fuel flow that came with the airplane RPMs and manifold pressures, that all looks good. Flight controls, I'm gonna check those, they're all free, correct, feel good. I got the parking brake set. Switch panel over here, all the breakers are in there. I checked all the breakers in there before we started the motors. We do have a couple of breakers pulled, but they're they're non-essential. It's for the entertainment and potty, I think. Uh, lights, we've got as we want. All that stuff looks good. Our electrical load all looks good. Alternators, battery are in good shape. Fuel pumps are off. Pressurization, we basically have it set for uh, sea level. We're not going very high. We're landing at a sea level airport, so I'm going to leave that alone. That all makes sense. Okay, so we're going to bring this up to 1500 RPMs. That's geared. Engine sound really good. 1500 RPMs, and you can see the throttles are offset just a little bit. That's typical, they never really match all the way. And then I'll check the mags on both engines, get a drop. And then on the other one. So on the 
I'm gonna isolate those those uh, mags on uh, one at a time because they were a little rough. That's not that one. This one should be rough. No. All good. And then exercise the propellers all the way into feather. That's the left engine. Do that a couple times just to make sure. It's all good. Friction locks over here. And then I just kind of take a look at these engines again to make sure everything looks pretty good. Fuel flows are a little off. Um, that would be something I would probably uh, point to as a Maybe uh, something to have the mechanics look at. The right engine's burning a couple more gallons an hour, and everything you can see here is pretty matched. All the engine instruments are nice and matched. So that's that's the last thing I do is an idle check. Let's make sure these engines don't quit at idle. They don't like it at that full idle setting, but make sure that they still run, and I bring them up to about 900 RPMs for, for ground. This has a transfer tank on the left engine. You want to get a shot of that? Yeah, so that's a transfer tank. It's 28 gallons. And uh, the way you access that is through this transfer pump. Turn it on, and that pumps the fuel out of that into the wing, and then you'd have to cross-feed to burn it. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that alone. There is no gauge for that. Enunciator um, check. And you have a transfer light right here. So when I turn that on, we'll see if that turns that left tank up. We'll do that in flight. Okay, run up's complete now. We're going to taxi out to uh, 3 0. Wind 215, Mike Papa, Long Beach Tower, runway 3 0, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 3 0, 2 1, 5, Mike Papa. Pumps go on. clear. Lights are on. Power's coming up. Fuel flows all look good. Engine instruments all look good. Max power, good, good. Fuel flows, everything looks good. Air speed's alive. I usually rotate at blue line on these. They're fun. Other right, gear comes up. God damper comes on. Top of the Long Beach Tower and our left downwind for runway 26 left. Top of the green on manifold Holding pressure. My papa, if you want your flight following, squawk 4631. 4631, Roger. My papa. Three Alpha Tango, turn base, runway 26 left, clear land. Turn base, clear land two. And then listen to these engines, Jumping these props come back now to 1900 RPMs. I'm just going to leave the mixtures up for now, out over the river. Did you get that squawk code for Mike Papa? Oh, we got you now on November 5, Mike Papa, you can contact still counterparts, see you later. See ya. Bye, Mike Papa. There's two Tony transponders, yeah. Beach, to 3,500 and report inbound. Start to Seal Beach, 3,500, and we will report inbound for you, Charlie. 7-8 Whiskey, Traffic, uh, 7 below. Cost trophy, out or above 2,000, and front of the first. Low, less than 
215 Mike pop off at Long Beach 1500 for 2500. 215 Mike pop off, I done. Roger, head down, Mike pop off. 5 Mike pop off, what's your request at altitude? Like you at a 10, uh, 10 5. Actually 11 5. Cessna 421. 1967, they uh, they started with the 421s. I think around 1971, they went to the B model. Those had the tip tanks. Made some changes in uh, fuselage. I think pressurization systems. In 76, they went to the 421C. Got rid of the tip tanks. And then in 1980, it was still a C model, but it. They went to the trailing link gear, which is really popular. Pretty popular airplane for Cessna, kind of the top of the class as far as a piston twin cabin class. Really nice. At this point, we unfortunately lost our audio, so you'll have to kind of live through a voiceover. Talking about specifically this 421, uh, it's a really nice example of a C model 421, 1980 or newer. Uh, this one has over 9,000 hours on it, but uh, I've flown a lot of 421s, including some really low time ones, and uh, it certainly doesn't feel anything different or any. It, it feels really good. Like I'd rank it up in the you know top airplanes I've flown in terms of how it feels and behaves, and it's solid, quiet. Uh, especially you know when you take into account uh, you know 40 year old airplane with 9,000 hours, but but across the board, it's really a solid airplane. This air, this particular airplane's been really uh, upgraded very nicely and you can tell from the video the interior again very quality detail a lot of times people put interiors in airplanes but if you really look at some of the detail it's not as great where this airplane is really a nice fit and finish beautiful interior and paint job um, and you know 421s they're quiet with the geared motors and then you've got uh, the pressurized cabin a big cabin you know it's really a premium uh, cabin class uh, and at the top of the list in terms of piston twins so this airplane has a, a very well upgraded panel, uh, G600, GTN750, GMX200 multi-function multi display, 530, uh, new ADS-B transponder, uh, upgraded audio, PS engineering auto, audio panel, uh, you know, a couple of engine, uh, upgraded engine instruments, and then uh, the 800 autopilot, which is the original factory equipment. But it does a really nice job, and of course you could upgrade the uh, autopilot now to the GFC 600. So all in all, this, this panel is really uh, nicely upgraded. In the video, you can see the performance board 11.5, 190 knots, and we were burning around 20 ga 27 gallons a side. But if you pull these motors back to a you know, longer range cruise, 30 inches, 1,700 RPMs, uh, you'll be closer to 40 gallons an hour. We never really uh, got there in the video. Uh, and that, you know, it's a 200 knot airplane at that altitude, normal cruising altitude for this airplane. So uh, it's kind of an overview on the, on this, this 421. Again, it's a really nice one. And uh, we're going to, uh, the rest of the videos to going into Montgomery for, it was really a beautiful night. And uh, uh, with this trailing link gear, always a smooth landing.
they were on the ground at Montgomery after that flight in this uh, 1982 421C. I was really impressed with this airplane. It's a 9,000 hour airframe, which isn't necessarily high time. I mean, it's got four, it's a 40 year old airplane, but I wasn't expecting the, the solid feel that it has. It's got a lot of great avionics. And even this, the uh, 800 autopilot, which was the original equipment with this airplane worked really nice and just a very impressive airplane. So if you're in the market for a nice 421C, I would highly encourage you to consider this one. You can see it at controller.com, the link's in the description, or you can email us at uh, sales at ocraviation.com. Thanks for watching.